What's good YouTube, Make America Lit here, back with another NBA 2K24 video, and in today's video I have another episode of Rare Builds for you guys as you can see on your screen. In today's episode we are going to be creating a slashing point forward, so let's jump straight into the build. Now obviously if you want to make any type of point forward build, you need to make this build at the small forward position, otherwise it will be a completely different name. Height, weight, and wingspan is totally up to you. You can tweak this to however you like. This is just what I went with for most of my point four builds, and that's just because I feel like it is the most balanced. 6'7", 222 with a 7-foot wingspan. And then these are the attributes that I went with. Uh, 72 close shot, an 88 drive and layup, and a 70 drive and dunk with a 40 standing dunk. Now, 88 is just because I wanted to reach that threshold uh, for a Hall of Fame float game which you need an 88 uh, layup for. Um, you could tweak this. You could make it lower or higher. I try to reach that 91 or 87, 88 or 84, uh, you know, threshold for my layups. I prefer layups over dunks. That's just me. Now, uh, if you don't and you prefer driving dunk, you can take your layup down and opt to put up driving dunk in favor of that. But driving dunk does cost more, though, so you're not going to get anywhere close to the layup at 88 you're not going to get anywhere close to that with driving dunk um but if you prefer driving dunk you can do that personally i would leave it like this because layups are way better in my opinion versus driving dunk and then 40 standing dunk so we get those standing dunk animations moving on to the shooting we have that 72 mid-range to get that silver midi magician we have a 76 three ball just so we reach that threshold for bronze agent three at 76 and then free throw is an 86 now if you don't play pro-am or a 5v5 rec at all then you can just drop your free throw all the way down and put those points elsewhere but this is just what i went with because i do play uh you know rec primarily and because i have a slashing point forward build you know i want to be able to hit free throws i see so many people make this mistake of making slashers and they're like oh yeah i play part but then they come into the wreck they have a slasher with a 93 driving dunk or a 90 layup or a 90 close shot but then they have a 60 free throw and they're bricking leaving so many points at the line and you're just basically giving away possessions because if you go to the rack and you get fouled and you don't make the and one and now you take a two free throws and then you're bricking both of the free throws, then you're basically just giving away a possession. That's a possession we could have had two points or three points that we now thrown away because you want to rim run. And then you can't even hit the free throw when you do get fouled when you try to rim run. So if you're going to make a slash and build or any type of slash and build, then make sure you have some type of free throw so you can hit those shots. It's free points, okay? Uh, moving on. We have a 96 pass accuracy, a maxed out 91 ball handle with a maxed out speed with ball. Obviously, point forward build, slashing. You want to be as quick as possible. You want to be fast with the ball, and you want to be able to put the ball on the floor. So that's why I maxed those out. Moving on to the defense, we have a 76 perimeter defense, which is the absolute minimum you should be shooting for for perimeter defense to be, you know, solid on the perimeter. You see that we're going to have all bronze badges, clamps, 94 feet, ankle braces, challenger, fast feet, pick dodger, and workhorse. And best part about having these bronze badges is that you're not even going to have to worry about upkeeping them. You're not going to have to worry about, oh, that your challenger dropped from gold to silver or from silver to bronze. All your stuff is bronze. You never even have to worry about defensive badges. You're just good to go. Same thing for the steel. We have a 75 steel, um, and we're going to have all bronze steel badges, so we will be able to reach and poke the ball loose and rip people. That's about it as far as defense goes. And then moving on to the physicals, we have an 82 speed, 78 acceleration with a 75 strength, which is going to be enough to get us bronze bulldozer, uh, gold fearless finisher, gold physical handle, so we can push people off of us when they try to crowd us to help us get to the basket along with that bulldozer and then we also have bronze brick wall and bronze immovable enforcer 52 vertical but you know i don't focus too much on vertical because this isn't going to be a build that we go super crazy with dunking with i just got the drive and dunk just so we can finish in traffic and catch oops and stuff so vertical is not that important we also don't have rebounding or block on this build so that's why i don't prioritize vertical that much on builds where i have high block high rebounds in uh, driving dunk, then yeah, I would ordinarily, you know, uh, prioritize vertical. But because this build only has one out of three, I'm not going to really prioritize vertical. And then finally, we have that 99 stamina to wrap up the build. You see that bronze workhorse, 94 feet, and of course, gold handles for days. Try to always get that gold handles for days for builds that have high playmaking. 
uh, you know, just me, you know, speaking. And then, of course, you see the shades of Wally Zerbiak, Zach Levine, and RJ Barrett. And then, of course, you see that we have built a slashing point four. So this is my slashing point four build for NBA 2K24. It's been your boy, Make America Lit. Please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more NBA 2K24 content. And, of course, more rare builds like this. I'm out, y'all. Peace.